Come on. Something started peeling drag. Whenever they're pushing current on this side of the dam, they stay back in this little cove here. You can just about just get you a cane pole with some line and just drop off and just pick them up, man. I believe we got a bass here. No, oh gosh, we just got a monster. Well, we may have to let him go back. That's a, <laughs> that's a, that's a, let's see, if he's, if he's 10 inches, we're gonna put him back. Just another eight inch bluegill. Fight like a 10 incher though. There's plenty of these eight inches in these waters, so I'll go ahead and keep them. So if the wind ever starts picking up, I don't try to fight the wind. I'll just come back to that spot. They're in here, man. My goodness. Golly. Grouped up back in here now, and they're not so scattered. We're using simpler spiders today with a single uh, black soldier fly. And you see guys come in here, and they're throwing all their jigs and throwing all their stuff, and they don't catch nothing. But here I am with my simple little hand lines, and you're just catching them, catch just Again, the hand line is handbook is up. You guys want to catch fish like this, man. We're on Teachable now. We have classes there. Do go in more in depth with types of things than I would do here on YouTube. Some of those will be free, some of them will be paid. The Handliners Handbook is a paid class. Probably going to do a, a quick class on how to convert your mud motor here to a true marine grade gas tank. That'll probably be a free one. And we'll, it's working. We got something. Number two hook, a little bit of cut bait bluegill. Just a sliver. We'll see what we got here just off some rocks here. Yeah, that's little baby blue, huh? <laughs> Hook right there, just a number two, not a two all, number two. Very similar size to what a salmon steelhead fisherman would use. Gold and bucktail, white bucktail, and my red chinia feathers. That's all it takes, just that little triangular piece there. Just fishing lighter, smaller, lighter equipment, and I'm catching. You know, now we're catching. Oh. He figured out he was hooked. Oh, full and drag. And we're not using chunk bait. What we're doing is, is filleting that bluegill and using that slab so it flows in the current. See how that, that's it right there, you know? Oh, and he came off. That was a nice spot, man. That was a nice spot. Motoring up and then drifting back over these little shoal of rocks here. And we're picking up something almost every time off these old rocks. Oh, God. oh gosh, there he goes. Ha ha ha. Peeling drag, baby. Yeah, he's, yeah, we got something now. Oh, he spit it. Fellas! Fellas! The 20 pound line, baby. We're horsing him in because we got 20 pound line. We ain't messing around with no little eight. 20 pound line. Bluegill. Cut bait, amp flies. Number two hooks, baby. Hand line, ha <laughs> ha! Shoot, where'd he get it? In the corner of the mouth. That's in the corner of the mouth, no circle hooks. Then I'll tell you something. That's just a number two hook, so good hook penetration. Ain't no shame in a fish like that, fellas. You guys want to try my little amp flies? This is again. This is a number two. I tie them on anything up to about a two or three hour hook. The current vice I have. He mad. He done cooked the cool old boy. Ha ha! <laughs> Poor rope broke. I think it's time to build that new motor. 